We're gonna do something kind of annoying today. We're gonna try to acquire an entire 13 shards of Captain Marvel. This is something I've been seeing a lot on Reddit. It's like, oh, the drop rates in the Milestein orbs are atrocious. And I gotta say, I've kind of had to take this entire different approach to this game and just hoard, hoard, hoard uh, that event where you got bonuses for opening uh, orbs really threw me for a loop and I'm in this weird place now where I, I can't be OCD and get rid of the red dots. It's it's really frustrating. Maybe, I don't know if anybody has that problem. I mean, I see people with like 12,000 unopened emails on their phones and it's like, man, I don't have any red dots. But what do I do? I mean, I, I really focus on my arena team. I'm getting 60% in the raids. Uh, I can finish 100% uh, in the gamma. So really the only thing that I have to do right now is is do well inside of the arena. And I've been getting one sometimes, you know, top 10 every time. You know, it's just a matter of whether or not I have enough time to play. Uh, Black Bolt really changed the arena. And so I can do well there. And so really all I really need right now in this game is Colossus. Why isn't he farmable? Oh my God, I can only get him inside of uh, Mega Orbs. But I do think uh, Captain Marvel and finishing her off will be a good thing. And I'm just gonna tell you this right now, we're gonna open up 100 of these orbs and I don't think I'm gonna get those 13 shards. I think I'm gonna be get five or 10. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a long thing and all of this is just gonna be going into Ultimus, which is kind of sad. Uh, you know, what do I need Ultimus for? I mean, there's nothing in there I really need either. Uh, you know, like I said, there are only two characters I really need in this game. Uh, based on where my roster is at today that would actually help me inside of the arena would be Colossus or Mr. Sinister and those guys are just not available. They're just not available. Now so far we've been opening and this is going to take a long time and I can tell you this right now everything I've opened has gone into Ultimus. Uh, none of this stuff is uh, shards I need. Now if you're early in the game and you need to get a lot of your characters up to seven stars, you're working on your roster, uh, I would suggest opening everything and not hoarding, but I've got almost every character up to seven stars that's farmable. Uh, with the exception of, let's say, like Falcon and Psylocke and Shocker, and actually I got Shocker now. There's just like a handful, like there's like four or five, and they're being really stingy with the Fantastic Four, they're being stingy with Colossus, uh, Minerva and so long, so on. And I can tell you this right now, I, I'm watching what I'm doing right here. None of this, none of this stuff right here is is of any help to me whatsoever. I haven't pulled a single Coulson, uh, no Captain Marvel. Um, I don't really know if there's much in here I could use uh, at all. It's, 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 a, it's a good problem to have, I suppose. Uh, but the game has really shifted to like hoarding. Now I can use those purple ABCs, man. I can need like 10,000 of those. So that is good. I've seen some gear in here that I need, but as far as character shards, uh, you know, there's really no reason for me to open these uh, shards at all, except for that I needed 13 to finish off uh, Captain Marvel. And, and none of this is uh, that appealing. And, and I'm worried that uh, in the dead of mine, it suggests that uh, Cyclops, is going to be a four-star unlock. So I think he's going to be milestones and then eventually he move into these orbs. And I'm worried that then they'll cut the drop rates on Coulson to nothing. I mean, I think I have a, a one, when I hit this button right here, I have a 1.8% chance that it's going to be uh, Captain Marvel, a, a five, let's say. Five, or I guess I could get a chance that it'd be more than five. I think there's a chance to get 10 as well. Oh, purple, what is that? 10, woo! Um, so that's good. But I'm worried that they're going to introduce uh, Cyclops and then they'll kill the drop rate on Agent Coulson to, to that 1.8%. Uh, you know, because I, I need to get this guy as close to 300 as possible before they just uh, obliterate the drop rates on him. Because, I, I mean, that's what they did. It seems like these orbs were a lot better uh, before uh, Coulson was in here. And then as soon as they put Coulson here, they just destroyed the drop rates on Captain Marvel. And I could buy that ridiculous pack. I don't want to buy that pack. I don't want to spend another $30 on this character. Uh, and it's it's discouraging that 100 of these orbs is probably not going to even get me what I need to finish her off. Okay. None of this. Other than that, Coulson, so far, this has been nothing. I mean, ABCs are nice. I actually like that I get all these extra stuff in here. I mean, 
Uh, you know, these side things have been more beneficial than the shards. Everything else is going to go right to Ultimus, which I will open up at the end. Uh, none of this. Okay. So, uh, inside of the data mine, there was also going to be Red Skull. Yay! Woo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, I'm only eight away. So, uh, maybe I'll pull two more. Uh, that's good because I'm only 67 in. So, uh, that was faster than expected. I expected this number to be like 50 before I pulled any. Uh, inside the gym, Red Skull. Red Skull has been in the game for a long time, but they're actually uh, finally looking like it's going to happen here shortly. I'm expecting either in the next patch or the patch after to have Red Skull. It does say that it's a Blitz, but the Deadermine always says that they're going to be a Blitz, so I don't, I'm not listening to that. Uh, I'm thinking it'd be Legendary. Uh, it's possible. Whoa! 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 Okay, good video for me, man. All right, only three shards. Wouldn't it be terrible if I went through the last 63 and I didn't get those three shards? Oh, I probably will stop pulling these. If I can get uh, another five drop, I'll stop for them. Uh, anyways, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if Red Skull was legendary, even though the Dead Mind says Blitz. Uh, they can do anything they want, but I'm fully expecting a Hydra rework. All right, more of that. We need that. Give me as much as that as possible. We need that, Coulson. Yeah, give it to me. All right, so uh, pretty exciting because uh, then we can figure out what to do with the Hydra. And, you know, I was just going through my roster on uh, msfpal.gg, and it's I'm looking down here. My Hydra is all bad, not being used. In fact, even in war, there's just a clump of characters that are not useful anymore, uh, and that's not good. Uh, it's like almost a, to a disadvantage to upgrade those characters on the bottom of the roster because what if matchmaking is solely based off of uh, CP when they finally come out with a one versus one and so is the player that is going to have the best advantage is going to be the person that you know put no resources into these bottom characters let's say and only upgraded the top useful characters like the top 18 teams or something like that and whoever upgraded these bottom ones going to be an extreme advantage I've seen that happen in other games so it's not outside the realm of possibility Hopefully, if they ever do a one versus one, they only look at, like, the top. Uh, let's say you could use 18 teams possible. You know, you said eight on defense, plus you can have 10 to attack or 12 to attack. Uh, so maybe 20 teams total, and then you're done pretty much. Uh, if that's the way it works, uh, hopefully they only count those top parts of the roster, like the top uh, 20 teams, and then the, the last parts just don't count. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see. So far, we're not getting anything. I'm hoping we'll get something really exciting. Uh, but, yeah, when I finally hit this button right here, it's just going to be all duplicates. All right, let's see if we can plow through this here a little quicky, quicker. Uh, I'm pretty excited that they're going to bring Thing to the Blitz store. And they recently made um, Mr. Fantastic, I believe, farmable. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing, though, with, like, one person on the Fantastic Four was just not available anywhere, which is Colossus. I'm mad about Colossus. Um, why is he farmable? It's been forever. Anyways, enough about that. And that's the only reason why I opened my Mega Orbs is because that's the only place to get him is inside of Mega Orbs. Uh, Sibirut Spider-Man, I'm excited about him coming to the game. Oh, oh yeah, that's great. We're getting there. Thank you. We need to tons of that. Okay. I'm actually mostly interested with this gear now. It's like I w kind of wondering if I should not have hoarded this for such a long time uh, because of all this gear. I mean, these ABCs are just need like several hundred per character. And if you get a deficiency, it's a problem. Okay, what do we got here? All right, Pyro back in the day. That was what someone, uh, I think Casito said. Why don't they put... Uh, Colossus in the war store. The war store currency is very valuable for getting those uniques, for uh, getting the characters all the way up to 14 for Dark Dimension. Uh, that's a very valuable resource. And, you know, uh, Carnage was in there and it was a real trick to get him. Like, I really had to manage carefully. Uh, it seems like uh, Colossus would be a good place to put him inside of the war store. If they want to make him exclusive and, and people to really uh, have to think about their resource management. This is killing me. I'm down to 33. Last third. And I and I hopefully I can get three more um, Captain Marvel. But statistically, you know, with a 1.8% drop rate, 
uh, every time I hit this button of potentially getting five, uh, the odds are getting worse and worse that it's not going to be likely. And I'm going to be stuck with uh, three short. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, then I'm going to have to open these every day until I finally get her. Boy, that's going to be a, a problem. I and mean, I was kind of... Uh, Saving even the gold for that because that's the thing too. I think a lot of people are in this gold crunch area where why open anything if I'm not going to have the gold to upgrade it. So here we go. And I'm really worried they're going to change these orbs uh, with Psylocke, uh, Cyclops and then and then they're going to make Coulson super rare. And I, I wouldn't want to get stuck where they drop his drop rate to like 1.8%. 1 and then I'm going to be like 10 shards away. And then they're going to sell me the packs. That's the whole thing is what they're doing. They're trying to sell us the packs. Okay. Okay. So we did it. The video was success. Uh, we were able to get 15 shards in about 78. I'm going to stop there uh, for right now. Uh, because uh, look what we got here. We've got basically all kinds of goodies. Uh, oh, look at those ABCs. I need those. I'm wondering if I should keep going just to get the, uh, the Coulson. I might start opening these more, uh, once we see what's going to happen with, um, you know, Cyclops, whether or not he's going to be a milestone reward player. So let's go into the store and let's see, I need some gold. So I'm going to open up a gold orb. Oh, look at that. 7,000 currency. Look at that. All of that is just going towards Ultimus. Almost all of it, because uh, really, uh, let's see what I've got in here at Orange in my roster. The only thing that's going to be there is Captain Marvel. Uh, the rest of them, there might be one character way down here at the bottom that might be orange. I think we got them all. Okay, so let's open up a gold orb, and then we'll upgrade her and uh, get her to use. I actually am coming around a little bit on her. I was not a fan of her uh, initially. She's okay. I still am not like a super fan of her. I, I think she's a useful character, especially on defense on war. All right, we actually got some gold. Okay, fantastic. And we will go upgrade her and she will be done, which is fantastic. Now I'm glad that the drop rate is only 1.8% because then it's not all going uh, to Ultimus. Uh, we'll rank that up and she is finished. All right, guys, let me know if you like these kind of videos in the comment section by leaving a like or just saying I like these type of videos. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.